Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my Friday night magic attendance dropping. I go to four different places. Um, two of my friends own two of the places. One is kind of a video game store, so it's not really about f and attendance, although they do get promos and distributor prices, which is always excellent. The other one, the other two, I guess I'll start with the one that I left uh, that has no attendance and no one at f and and it's overall just a waste of time for you to go, and for me to go. I, might, I can go there, but if no one's playing Magic, then why would I continue to go there? The second one that's closer to me, they have a problem with attendance as well. And I've seen attendance drop and decline uh, since I started going about a month ago. And I'm not sure what is the reason, but it's a bunch of problems. The promos are no good this month. Um, the game day promos are not excellent. The playmat actually makes no sense to me. I love Nissa, but why see the uh, game day pro playmat? Like it makes no sense because isn't this set about Chandra? Anyway, that being set aside, um, the price support is paid out in these packs where it's like a lottery or a bust. I know that a lot of my friends and I personally, we have I have not opened Kaladesh outside of pre-release. I've just purchased singles because I don't want to play this lottery system because whenever you play a lottery system, the majority of people who play are going to lose money. That's how the lottery works. And just because Magic Cards is you know, a Magic Card lottery does not make it any different. So there's going to be one winner, a few winners who pull the inventions and then the majority of people are just going to be losers um, outside buying singles. So I used to be really into buying packs and buying fat packs, especially because I love the boxes. I still love the boxes. It's just really not worth my money at this point in time to enter a lottery. I think that's a problem. One of the other problems that Wizards of Coast and I applaud them for fixing is standard rotated, was going to rotate extremely fast. Now we're going into a extended standard where some cards could be around for up to two years, which I feel like is good. That means my cards have additional value. It's able to uh, lower the cost of getting a new deck. I know people are saying, oh, inventions will lower the cost, this and that. But the cost is always getting a new deck. Yes, your cards don't plummet in price, but I don't know, like at the same time I hate rotation um, because you need to make a new deck. And that's primarily why I don't like it. It's not because I need to buy all these new cards, but it's because I need to buy an entire new deck. If I can just buy some of the same cards, some of the newer cards and add them to my deck, that makes a lot more sense. That will make it a lot more fun. And then lastly, standard is just very boring right now. Extremely boring to play against. Um, it's not the standard I like. There's no true aggro deck in the format. You might say, oh, vehicle aggro. But if I have to put my creatures in a vehicle, that's kind of an extra step. That's not true aggro in my mind. True aggro would burn, burn to the face, attack with your goblin guides and other 1-1, one, 2-2 one, two, two hasty attackers, and just burn to finish the game. That's the deck I like to play most of all. I'm still p playing in a Drazi deck, um, a Drazi with Falia, a mono white Drazi deck. Really fun to play with. Does not win, probably wins less than 50% of its games at f and But that's probably another reason attendance has been down lately so far, is because standard is extremely stale. And yes, you have these you know fun new decks, but to me, the mechanics don't really you know, get putting stuff in vehicles to hit your opponent and everyone playing the same exact vehicles no matter what deck. Even the Fire deck, I have copters in that deck. It makes no sense why I have it, except it's such a good card. Just like Hangar Backwalker, you need to put in every single deck you play, otherwise the deck is, by definition, weaker than it could be. So, um, unless I'm missing a few examples, I'm sure I'm missing a few examples of why f and attendance has been down lately, or maybe has been up for your stores. But at least the people I've talked to, 
as well as the stores I live around, the attendance has just been dismal. We're talking about anywhere between 25 to the entire store just not having an F&M anymore. And once people stop, stop going to F&M, because it's Friday Night Magic, and they do other stuff, it's really hard to go back to F&M. And that's one of the problems I'm facing right now is, should I spend my Friday nights at Magic the Gathering? And the answer to that might be no. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.